if you haven't followed, you know, 75 Hard, if you haven't heard of it yet, I would definitely look into it because I think it's awesome. And the reason being is because it really exposes the fact that each and every single one of us have two voices in our head constantly, constantly playing. And those voices are actually designing the thoughts in which design the emotion, in which designs your actions, right? And that action will then create your outcome. And so anyway, these two voices, one, you got a boss voice. Boss voice obviously is a boss, right? Like, okay, we gotta do this, you gotta do that. This is gonna be the best way, do it now. That's the boss voice. But we all, and majority of us, me, myself included, we have a bitch voice. And that bitch voice will say things like, oh, you did good, don't worry about it, you got time. Ah, fuck it, you did good. Go ahead and have a drink. Oh, it's the homie's birthday. Go ahead and splurge a little bit. You're good, right? That's that bitch voice. And bitch voice is literally be commanding my own personal life for quite some time because that bitch voice who told me that, oh, you're okay, man. You know what I mean? You're getting older. You're married. Your dad bod's okay. <laughs> you don't got to be healthy to, you know, to feel successful. And so I hopped out and I listened more to the bitch voice. And I'm okay with that because I'm owning it, right? That's a big takeaway here is just fuck own it. <laughs> hey, so if you've been listening to your bitch voice, man, light up those hearts, like comment, like, you know what I mean? I can't be the only one listening to the bitch voice. And so anyway, we got those two voices in our heads. And oftentimes the bitch voice will tell you things like, oh, you have plenty of time or you don't have time. It's funny because the boss voice is the true win, right? Whereas the bitch voice is more kind of like chance. And you want to be able to control the momentum in which you have and can create each and every day because you'll hear in a lot of my content, especially on YouTube, you know, in order to build momentum, you just gotta accumulate small wins. And so small wins are everything from waking up at a specific time. One of the things in 75 Day Hard is read 10 pages every single day, read 10 pages. And it can't be a fictional book, it has to be a non-fiction book. Me, myself, I consume books all the time, but I consume audio. Right. And so my bitch voice could be like, ah, oh, D, you're good, man. You listen to an hour of audiobooks and your workout. Right. But no, you got to follow the regimen because what happens is if you slip on one of these rules, you got to start the day over. Right. And so every single day, you know, you're taking a pic damn near booty naked in front of a mirror. This is a progress pic. And you save it to the app or you save it to like a, an album folder. You have to drink a gallon of water every day, which I mean, it'll blow your mind if you think about it, how little water you get, but there's a lot of benefits of water, you know, just take care of your skin, take care of your whole body, your blood flow and all that. You got to be able to plan this out, you know, and again, your bitch voice is going to be like, oh man, I don't got no time for that. Oh man, I'm good. I'm, you know, I'm not fat. <laughs> you know, I'm healthy. It's not about being fat. It's not about being, you know, an al a borderline alcoholic. It's not about being that. It's about going up to a challenge to ensure that you're accumulating small wins. <laughs>